So as Amazon increased the fight on trying to block more of these piracy third-party streaming applications, lots of you have been telling me that what's the best way to block updates because they want to stop Amazon pushing new updates to their device. Now, unfortunately, it is a misconception that people think if I block updates on my device, that means Amazon can now no longer block more streaming applications. Unfortunately, it's just not true. And I will explain that in just a second and also talk through some of the other issues if you are blocking updates on your device, particularly if you are using the NetGuard method. So if I press the home button on my device, now probably the biggest issue you're gonna have for the majority of people is as soon as you use NetGuard on your device, as I've done in this demonstration, that means I can now no longer use my VPN at the same time because the way NetGuard works is it works as a virtual VPN just to block these applications so they can't access the internet. Now, if that's running on your device, if I now activate my VPN, which is IPVanish, let me turn that on. I do actually have a great discount code. So if you're interested in that, make sure you watch this video to the end. Let me activate that now. Now we can see in a couple of seconds, my VPN is now online. If I now go back to my system settings, and let's see if updates are still blocked on my device. Click on that. And you can see they are not blocked anymore because again, you can't run two VPNs at the same time. As soon as I activate IPVanish or any VPN, that will instantly stop NetGuard from working. So, so unfortunately for the people that thought that, oh, I've now activated NetGuard, Amazon can now no longer put any updates on my device. As soon as they activate a VPN, NetGuard is now stopped in the background. It's not running anymore which again means that updates can be pushed and will be pushed from Amazon and will be automatically installed on your device. So that's probably the first issue of using the NetGuard method now, but I will just caveat and say that I have recommended NetGuard in the past and I still do recommend it today. If your use case is A, I don't use any VPN and I want to block updates because I don't want Amazon making any further changes to my device. If that's your use case, use NetGuard and away you go. The trouble we have here is people are blocking these updates because they think it's going to protect them against this new Amazon piracy blacklist. And it's just not because as we've seen in the past, this mechanism of blocking these applications is already on your device. So whether you block updates today or from last week, we're talking many, many months ago, I think it was back in, I think June time, when this was first introduced, Amazon now enabled this blacklist on your device, which means even if I block updates today, because a blacklist is running on my device, at any time my device calls back home, it can get a new update to that list. New applications can be added. Blocking updates today is just not going to help you with this particular problem. The only people that are not affected by this are the ones that did the exploit. Now, the main difference using the exploit method was you actually had the ability to clear the blacklist, then block the blacklist from updating. The ones that followed that method, and unfortunately it has been patched now, only those people can say they are completely safe from this new piracy blacklist. But for everybody else, if you try to install an application which is on the blacklist, it will be instantly blocked on your device, as you can see on mine. Similarly, when Amazon or when Ace tell Amazon to add more applications into the list, if you use one of those applications, again, it will be blocked. But as I mentioned in a previous video, I still think the best advice right now is to wait and see most importantly, which applications will be added? Because again, if you are just somebody that uses the K application and the K application probably will not be affected, then you've got nothing to worry about. You can carry on using this with your custom add-ons and away you go. Similarly, if you use another application like one of these other ones, if it's not added to the blacklist, then you've got nothing to worry about. If they're gonna target a few or certain applications, unless they impact you, Again, you've got nothing to worry about. So I would personally just wait and see. Just make sure you are subscribed because YouTube is telling me that more than 75% of you are watching my content, but you haven't subscribed yet. When you subscribe, you'll get the latest updates. So if there is another workaround or a new update from Amazon, I'll quickly post a video and you'll be the first ones to know. The last thing, as I mentioned before, right now there is a superb offer from IPVanish, which is really just the best way to protect yourself, protect your device change your online digital fingerprint, which is your IP address, you can do that by using a VPN because when you activate a VPN, you are now no longer using your own IP address, rather you are using an IP address provided from your VPN service provider. And with this different IP address, you can then go ahead and unlock different content from around the world. You can unlock the entire Netflix library and really just keep yourself safe online. I've been using this for more than I think five years now. I have tried other VPNs during that time. I think I tried Nord for a bit. I tried Surfshark for a bit. I tried Express for a bit, but 
ultimately, I always come back to IP Vanish because it just gives me that consistent performance. It allows me to access all of the applications I want to access and works great on all of my devices because they give you those unlimited connections. So one account, you can install it on 10 Fire Sticks, five laptops, 300 TVs, really as many devices as you like. So that kind of flexibility and that amazing price point, which you can see here for just over $2 a month, it really is a fantastic offer. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. And again, at this price point, it's definitely worthwhile checking out. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.